Who's smoking for the passengers? You just saw me you've checked my money, I've made for six hundred bags, and I can't smoke one. Why? Too much for the cabin crew. Ah! Well done. And smouldering passions on the training course. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booth on a far flung holiday, come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Like Britannia Airways flies 50,000 nervous passengers a year. So that I don't lose you. Come on, let's have a look. And you're never too young to be scared of flying. Right, will you come here with me? I don't like aeroplanes. You don't like aeroplanes? No. Why not? What's wrong? I don't like <laughs> fly right up into air and I don't like them. Yes, but it's taking you on a lovely holiday, isn't it? Yeah. Right, come on. Let's see if there's any ladies there. Come on, come on. 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 12-year-old Adam Mullaney has left his dental brace on his meal tray. I mean, surely you know when you've lost a brace or you've got a brace and you... I mean, I had a brace when I was a kid. Um... Oh, God. Uh, there was no easy way of doing this, really. Do you want to go and see the pilot? Should we see if you can see the pilot who's driving the aircraft? That'd be very exciting. Let's go see where it goes. No, it won't. No, it's not going anywhere yet. I think so. Right, sit there. Let's have a look. What does this do? What's that? Let's have a look. Hey! And headphones as well. Oh, look, I saw your headphones. Right, plug them in here. Let's have a listen. What's what's going on in here? Right, let's have a look then. Right, um, just to help me find this, what does it look like? <laughs> it's like a little pink thing, which got bits of metal coming up the side. It's like what colour? Pink. 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 Yeah. With bits of metal? Yeah. yeah. All around the edge. It's around the edge. Like, it's like a crab. Like a crab. It's pink with grey legs. So I'm looking for a pink crab with metal legs. Yeah. How about the size of your palette? Well, it's palette. Well, it's palette, yeah. <laughs> And it's wrapped in tissue. And it's wrapped in tissue. So I've got to look through all the... <laughs> Could have just left it on the side, could you? Oh, no. Right, OK, not a problem. So a pink crab, the size of his palette, with metal legs, wrapped in tissue. Easy. What is that? And uh, we have uh, one birthday on board the aeroplane today, uh, Mr John Bateman in row five. I'd like to wish you a happy birthday from Linda, Ricky, Laurie and Jay. <laughs> Simon Bates, eat your hearts out. Oh. Hey, what's this? What's this? What's this? That's Yay! it! Well, the bad news is I found it. <laughs> and the good news is you're going to have to wear it. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. And I've washed Thank it you. as well. <laughs> that's very nice. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank God for that. You was nervous. Yeah. On the cabin crew oh, training great, course, um... likely lads Aaron and Jason are on a mission to get a date with Tracy, their trainer. Tracy's car. <laughs> I wonder she's doing 110 passes with her air, oh, air no, brushes this morning. She didn't even notice this morning, did she? When, um, she came out, come past us. 
I tell you, if this is what she can afford, though, you know what I mean? Blanket on the back seat. Blanket, pillars. She's got the works. I could just pick her up and uh, whisk her away. Take her off home, oh. yeah. She's nice. Oh, there you go. I would never say that to her. So, what did they actually say? Well, both of them were in there and they both said, Would you, what are you doing tonight then? How do you fancy coming out for a drink? And I says, no, I says, I've got the kids. And they said, well, we'll come round to you then. We'll bring this some... This is Jason and Aaron. Jason and Aaron, yeah. Hey, that's OK. Oh, excuse me. Yes. Sorry. Uh, um, have you got any spare nappies, please? Sorry, it's it's just me. Nappies. Today, the trainees are learning how to deal with you problem don't... passengers. Oh, we've just been stuck at the airport for four hours with these, this blinking rain and everything. Um, I have, I've run out of nappies and my, my little Josie needs... Yeah, really, honestly, I'm sorry, but it's... Oh, don't worry, my darling. It's <laughs> all right. It's oh, all right. Yeah, she's Oh, I'm sorry, time. but sorry, the smell as well. Sorry, it's just the customs. All right, all right. I tell you what I do. I'll go and have a word with the other passengers with babies. See if they've got any nappies Please, on board. Please, I'm sorry. If they've got any spare ones, then it, um... can it be quick? Sorry, because it's just leaking right. through on the side here. All right, no worries. I'll get you some. Don't uh, worry, my is it darling, leaking badly or is it? Yeah, I know. Badly. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Very good. Very good. How do you think Aaron handled that then? Really well. He did. He did. It was good thinking as well about asking another passenger. Mm. And also, the, he asked the age of the nappy. Yeah. Signs. Was it? It's very good. good. If the baby's irate, then the mother's going to be irate. Yeah. If you can calm the mother down, then then it, it's a big help. Yeah, you did really well, Aaron. Well done. Mm -hmm. Well done. Does that mean we get a date now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Britannia headquarters in Luton. Arrangements are being made for a passenger with special needs. He's got a skin condition, so he blisters easily if you touch mm. him or knock him. Um, he's taking a special pump on board as well. How yeah. big's the pump? He doesn't actually say, but I thought if we sit him at the front... <laughs> Seven-year-old Scott Schofield is going to Spain with his mum, Alison. He suffers from a rare condition called epidermolysis bullosa. His illness is characterised by blistering of the skin. He's got fragile skin, which um, is both on the outside of his body and on the inside, internal linings of his body. <coughs> this morning, Scott's got blisters on his eyes, which means he can't open his eyes. Um, it's erosion on his eyeball, which is caused just by his eyes moving in his sleep, which rub on his eyelid. <coughs> Tomorrow we've got a, a special meal that needs to be ordered from Mrs Schofield. It's on the 464 Alpha. It's a charred meal that needs to be liquidised. No lumps at all. Right, I'm coming. I do bring up Scott in the way that he's got to stick up for himself and not to be frightened or ashamed of his illness. I might have blisters, but I'm still a normal little boy. And I like doing what other boys do, especially football. Scott's eyes are expected to heal before the flight, and Alison is hoping he'll be able to enjoy his holiday. I'm really looking forward to going on my holidays. I love aeroplanes, I think they're great. At Manchester Airport, Cathy Duffy has her hands full. This is turning into a bit of a nightmare, darling. The Woodhouses have turned up for their Palmer flight ten minutes before takeoff. Well, we, we run a public house and it's a very demanding business. And uh, one thing after another, and we've just got, just got behind so far, you know. It's incredible how things crop up. I just got a call a couple of minutes ago from check-in saying, Kathy, we've got a problem. So I said, what? She said, we've got two people turned up. So what? They're still expecting to catch the plane, but they're so late their seats have been resold. It turns out that Thompson's have done some seat sales, OK? These two people have now turned up, and the cruise passengers, they're not just passengers wanting to go on the flight, the cruise passengers. <laughs> if they miss the plane, they miss the boat and the start of their Mediterranean cruise. 
Thanks, guys. Let me just have a quick word before you close. But there's nothing Cathy can do. Have a quick word with him, Dad. There are no spare seats. Her priority now is to prevent a delay. I would, I would go. You've got, right. you've got all these people on board who have the right ticket to be on this plane. I think you should go. All right, let's go. You've got the right passengers. Pat has found her second nervous passenger of the day. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I'll come, to come down with you. Yeah, all right. Then. Wait till everyone's on, and then just get on and go. Have you had a drink? No, I don't drink. All oh, right. <laughs> I can't recommend that then. The Palmer flight is leaving, unbeknown to the Woodhouses. Well, hopefully they're going to come and let us know exactly when we can go to the gate and which gate we've got to go to, and we can get there as fast as we can. Take off and landing, I have my head between my knees and I and I grip the sides of the seats and pray and cross myself constantly. But it's worth it. Time to break the bad news. We couldn't take a delay on it. Oh dear. We can take you to Malta on a Britannia flight tonight. The ship goes from here, it goes to Malta. Yeah. We can get you to Malta. Um, so that you can meet up with the ship on Sunday afternoon, if that's what you want to do. Finally, they're off and still smiling, even though they've paid £90 extra and lost two days of their cruise. Little do they know, their troubles are just beginning. Scott, his mum and his granny have arrived in good time for their plane. His eyesight has returned just in time. 18 knots. Oh. Scott's thrilled. His granny's terrified. Nervous, but Captain Clack has known worse. We were, we were actually coming back from um, Santa Domingo, and somebody asked if they could have a flight deck visit. And uh, we, of course, are always trying to. Uh, we, we always allow flight deck visits if we possibly can. And a gentleman came up with his wife, and uh, the wife was actually wearing rather short denim, denim shorts and sat on the jump seat behind us. And we were chatting away to them and. Uh, asking whether they'd had a good holiday, showing them a few things around the flight deck, just a general chat. And he did mention that his wife was rather nervous of flying, and, um, but we thought nothing of it. And then all of a sudden, she just suddenly said, oh, I've got to go to the toilet. And she disappeared out of the flight deck door and towards the front toilet and with her husband following. And we didn't think anything of it, and we just sat, turned back around, and were chatting together and all of a sudden we realised that there was a rather strange smell in the flight deck. And in fact, unfortunately, the lady had had an accident on the seat on the flight deck floor and trailing all the way to the uh, back toilet. She'd uh, had a rather serious accident and to the extent, in fact, that the first officer actually went on oxygen because the smell was so bad. your cocktail yet? No. Can move them on well, look, there. here's your lunch. That's what it's... he's been moaning for. Well, he's starving. <laughs> Scott's special meal has arrived as ordered. All right. Is that nice? Cigarette spirits, any wine, cigarettes, tobacco. 
So why have you just sold me 600 fags if I can't smoke one? Come on, that's not on that. You just sold me a tech yeah, money yeah, no, 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 for listen, 600 listen, fags listen, and I can't smoke listen, one. Why? Right, listen, I take your point, but they sell condoms in boots. Need I say more? <laughs> <laughs> Northerners, when they go on holiday, spend all the money. If you've saved up £500 for your holiday, you don't want to come home with any money left. So if you come back, you say, you had a fab holiday. I went out with £500, come back with nothing, spent everything. That is a brilliant, brilliant holiday. Come on here with £50 now, they? I've got £50. What can I buy with £50? They just want anything to use all the money up. Gatwick, they say £500 up for the holiday. They come back on the flight. Do you have a good holiday? Come back with £200. The Green Hill Hotel, Derbyshire. Landlords Graham and Marilyn Woodhouse are back. But their holiday video is not what they'd hoped for. I would say it was near enough the holiday from hell. They'd been due to join their cruise ship two days late when it arrived in Malta. And we took the video camera out and so that they could purposely watch the ship coming into harbour and watching it come across the bay. And then all of a sudden it did a massive U-turn and went away from Malta. They were just amazed that we'd seen it come in and then go away. Bad weather had prevented the ship from docking. It was speechless. <laughs> Plans to travel to Sicily and then to Rome to catch the boat fell through and the couple were stranded on Malta. All we did for that week was move into three hotels and then back to Manchester two very disappointed people. Back on the training course, the cabin crew hopefuls are learning emergency drill. That's in the body belts. I've not got um, um... Lindsay and Kirsty are first up for the most feared part of the course, the smoke-filled cabin. Keep the communication up, right? Make sure you're okay. Can you keep it all right? <laughs> Just relax, it's panic. They have two and a half minutes to find a body. It's hard to breathe, impossible to see, and the cramped conditions often induce panic. Communication in there was absolutely brilliant. I could hear everything you were saying out here. Oh, I think I might cry. I know. Oh, that was awful. That was the best thing I've ever, oh. ever had to do. It's the worst thing you'll ever have to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing that again. We had to find out. Did we do it in two and a half minutes? Yeah. But at least I have to do it for three years. You don't have to do it for another three years. <laughs> in Spain, Scott is enjoying his holiday with one problem. It's just, um, I don't, I, it's limited access for him, I think, in certain places. But like on the pool then, I tried to get him to walk around the pool and because of it all being little stones and things, it's um, difficult for him to walk on and it's painful on his feet. I bet you can't dive under. The Spanish people have been really nice with Scott. They know there's something wrong, but they're not rude and they don't stare at him. I love it in Spain. It's the best holiday I've ever had. I wish I could stay another week. At Manchester, a first time flyer for BJ. Hello. Who's the nervous one? Me. <gasps> and why are you nervous? Because I've never done it before. You've never flown before? No. <gasps> God, mate, it's two of us. Really? God, never flown. Never, ever, ever flown? Never, ever. Flown. God. <laughs> so you're looking forward to it? No. Well, you can be nervous, but you can still be looking forward to it. Well, mixed feelings, you know? Yeah. But, but why, why are you nervous? If you haven't done it before, there's nothing to be nervous about. If they'd let me drive it, I'd be quite happy. <laughs> if they let you drive it, I'd be nervous. <laughs> well, that's what, eh? I mean, I'm not bothered if you're nervous. 
I've seen passengers a lot more nervous than her. Um, they refuse to get on board the aircraft, or if they actually get on board the aircraft, it's well, they're just inconsolable, really. They're in tears. It's one of those things. If you, it's like being scared of, of spiders. There's no, there's no rational explanation for it. And I'm trying to get into these bloody napkins when I can't. Yes, I can. Back at the training course, Jason and Aaron are still trying. I pulled these two girls. They are so nice. They are, are really those? nice. Their names are Sarah and Sarah. Would you believe it? Sarah and Sarah. All right, cool. It's amazing. And for once, succeeding. There's a little step up, yeah. right, so don't trip when you go in. I'll, no. I'll show you in. And there's lots of buttons and controls. For God's sake, don't touch anything, because no, I'm not no, doing no. Loop the Loop tonight. As, as soon right. as I walk in, I mean, can I just see? Well, the, Can I the, see out, yeah. you know, well, all round? Remember, it's dark. Yeah, so I know, but I mean... you're not going to see a lot, unless we're travelling It's all glass, over. isn't it? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So Honestly, what, what am I going to see when I get out there, then? Well, you'll see the captain, you'll see the first officer, you'll see lots and lots of controls and lights. And, and the captain will probably turn around and speak to you, and he'll just chat to you. And, if I and suddenly, you can ask him any question you like. If I suddenly disappear and come out, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is, but you won't feel like that. See, we've got those bumps again, haven't we? You get bumps in a car, don't you? Yeah, but I'm driving it. Well, he's driving this, and he's yeah, probably a lot more qualified than you are. Right, let's get this gentleman out of the way, and I'll okay. take you in, all right? OK. After you, you yeah? Right, I'll take you in. It, it's not hard to see, honestly. Come on. So if I, I mean, if I just want to come out, I'll come out, all right? Of course right? you can. Just a door here. Yeah. Okay. I can't do this. What's your name, by the way? Jenny. Jenny, come on in, Jenny. I'll introduce you to the captain. Oh. Right. Here go. Lots of lights. That's all. Come on, darling. Oh my God! I don't know. It's like the Tardis. Oh, screw! Yeah, I know. Gosh, it's, it's just so amazing. I mean, I can't believe I'm actually seeing it. <laughs> Jason's no longer flying high. He <laughs> got blown out. I don't know where they are, man. I don't know where they are. <laughs> As well as the brace, 20,000 hats, one ukulele, and an artificial leg were left on board last year. Scott has decided he wants to be a pilot when he grows up. That's a plane and it goes whee! And the Woodhouses are planning another holiday this year, but definitely not a cruise. Next week, Will Aaron and Jason get their wings? And Kathy goes in search of love. <laughs>